BDK bringing you another Shogun 2 Total War Online Battle. Um, this map is Rivertown map, and I am my opponent is well, I can't pronounce that. What's it? Beats Beats Bide Bidra. Anyway, that was a fail. So yeah, I'll be deploying down here in this part of the map, and my opponent will be here. I think the goal in this map is basically to try and take the high ground. Although, I'm not sure what my opponent's going to do. So anyway, this is my army. I have three units of Katana Samurai. Then I have a unit of Boar Samurai. Behind them, a unit of Yari Samurai, which is speed units. And then behind them, my General. Then, I have, for a cavalry force, one unit of my new... A uh, veteran unit, Arctic Gary, which is a pun on Arctic Monkeys. Okay, let's have a look at my opponent's army. Over in this corner, he has two units of light cavalry. Then over here, he has a unit of Boar Samurai, a unit of Yari Ashiguru, another unit of Yari Ashiguru, another unit of Boar Samurai, two units of Longsword Ashiguru, sorry, three units, and then his general bodyguard all the way back here okay so basically what I've done is I've just sent my guys to sprint up here as quick as possible to try and take the high ground and persuade my opponent to not come up or just the fighters up there I've also swept my artillery around just so he can't take this building I was originally planning on taking this building but I've only got four units of air foot soldiers, and only foot soldiers can take places like this. So I just decided to guard it so no one can have it. So what I've done here is I'm moving my units forward, and I'm going to try and make a line against his units. I'm also going to try and get my boss on right to get some shots away on his guys as soon as possible. As you can see, he's just left his cavalry out the way. I'm not sure you, what he was trying to do here. He's got one unit over here. Um, the second unit is probably hidden in them trees. And he's just left his general over here as well. I'm not sure why. So anyway, I'm getting some... Um, should be getting some archery away. Yeah, I'm getting some archery fire away. on this unit of Yari Ashiguro. And you can see he's done his four front two units are both spear units. And what he's done is put them in the spear wall formation. Because he must think I'm gonna try and come down and charge at him. But what I'm just removing my lines here. But when he, my units are better than his basically because he's only got Ashiguru and I've got real proper samurais which are much better quality. So I'm not going to come down here off the hill and sacrifice my higher ground or need to get surrounded by his more, more, well, more units of his. So I'm just going to sit the high ground and even though he's got, he outnumbers my archery two to one, I'm quite content in just sitting on this hill for the moment. But now I'm going to spring a little su surprise. I'm going to distract him with my unit of Arctic Gary while to try and divide the tension of these Ashiguru, which work perfectly. And then I've just sent my forward three units of katana straight forward and they're gonna crash straight into his spears as you can see this unit started routing even before I even got there whether that was because of the charger or because of the arrows I'm not sure also by me distracting these units of spears with my cavalry I've also managed to unmoot or change their positions and catch them off guard and then I'm gonna hit his ball camera and his long swords from behind from that cavalry so basically, I totally outmaneuvered him completely there. Also, what I'm doing here is moving my samurai forward, and my, I want to bring my general forward, just a bit close to the action. As you can see here, he's bringing his two units of light cavalry, and his general bodyguard. I'm not sure why he's put them in wedge formation. It only it's only really good for when you're trying to squeeze through a gap and you're trying to open up a line but not when you just want the full front charge on people so yeah what I've done here is I've moved my cavalry around 
and I'm going to try and surround his last units in here, which I've done. <laughs> and that's when my opponent decided to leave the battle. So that was a win for me, where I basically outmaneuvered my opponent and he didn't have really have much idea what to do once I'd done that. But a good game to him nevertheless and I hope you enjoyed this battle. Um, I've got another one but I'm not sure when it'll be up so I hope you enjoyed. Good night.